uh, lived in Toronto uh, all my life, really, and then we lived in Ottawa for about five years before moving down here. Uh, but my interest in Niagara Lake was first tweaked when I was at Sunday school at St. Aidan's Anglican Church in Toronto, and we used to do uh, summer excursions with the Sunday school classes. One one year we'd go to Niagara Lake, the next year we'd go to Port Dalhousie. And so that's when I sort of fell in love with Niagara and Lake and, and just the concept of the whole. Well, that would be when I was six or seven, so that would be 1930, 31, something like that. And uh, uh, from time to time after that in business or whatever, I would revisit Niagara and Lake and I was always, you can't help but love the place, you know. It, it sort of, uh, the highway, went by on one end and the railway went by on the other and you had to you had to work to get down to Niagara Lake itself so the sort of civilization kind of passed it by but it was a very civilized town uh, oh occasionally when the lake boats were running you'd come over on the lake boats with the, the old uh, Cayuga and the Chippewa which was a big paddle wheeler big broad lovely boat with a walking beam on top that went up and down and so that's when I first fell in love with the town and revisited it as often as I could after that, you know.